At ease, Quartermaster. Now my steward has informed me that the entire Blessed Water garrison died in the line of duty against the Northlanders, leaving you the sole survivor. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Uh, oh, oh, well, um, the, the Northlanders took many slaves. Civilians, primarily. But it may well be some of my comrades were taken alive. I'm afraid any possible captives are to be written off. Queen Lohi works her prisoners to death quickly. By now, all those taken are surely either in her slave camps behind the gates of Northland, or lying dead somewhere along the way. Yes, sir. Uh, I understand. So, uh, oh, I mean, my, my report, sir. Let, 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 let me just compose my thoughts. Go ahead. Start from the beginning. They attacked under cover of night, sir. Firebombs cast from beyond the town wall. And, and right after that, the shock troops swarmed in through the shattered castle gate. I didn't even have time to don the armor. And before I knew what was happening, half of us had already been killed. Slow down, Quartermaster. I've never seen the like before, Lord Amphia. Black iron soldiers with swords and sledgehammers bolting onto their bodies. <laughs> and that's not the half of it. The giant smoke belching harnesses, 12 feet tall, and spraying flaming oil. We never stood a chance. I escaped the castle with Kipuna, and we made it to the boat, and then we... Halt. Your report is incoherent. Quiet down for a while. Now... You were attacked by the Northlander army, and the castle was overtaken. You mentioned Kipuna. This is the civilian you brought with you, correct? Yes. Yes, sir. Kipuna? Don't be afraid, girl. Come forward. I... my lord. Don't be afraid. It's clear you've gone through far greater dangers than just talking to an old man. You're safe here, Kipuna. The city of Kalevala is the greatest men have ever built and well defended from Lohi's legions. But your injury is quite astounding. How, with that object embedded in your chest, are you still alive? The healer of Broomhead, my lord. I would have died without her, I'm sure. And she's the one who taught me magic. The healer of Broomhead? A figure from fairy tales. And she taught you magic? I see. Kipuna, you must tell me all. Please start from the very beginning. Kipuna, are you in there? Can you hear me? Kipuna! I'm here! What's going on? I smell smoke! There's debris blocking the door. I, I, I tried to move it, but it's too heavy. Uh, can you force it open from your side? Uh, I can try!
Harpena, you're unharmed. Something's burning. Is it the mill again? We're under attack. Come on, run! The castle must still be safe. Who's attacking us? Help! The bridge just blew up! Northlanders, quick! Uh, let's go through the marketplace! Follow me! through me. I'm wounded. No. That's not right. I'm... I'm dead. Kipuna, this is not how you die. I've already died. This thing, it's pierced my heart. That oh. cannot be helped. But if you never fell, the thread never broke, and there is a way for you to live again. I don't understand. Who are you? Shush now. I will help you wind back the frayed thread. Turn the spindle gently. Tony, what is that thing in your chest? A, a piece of shrapnel. It's glowing red hot. It hurts. I don't understand. I... Can you still run? I was in a cave. Just past that market square. We can make it to the castle. I can't feel my chest. My child. Again. You have erred. Am I... dead? You are in a deep trance. Step backwards to life and find another way.
this castle looks pacified to me, aside from that straggler. Too old to fight back and definitely too old to be of any use as a slave. I'm gonna kill ya! Let's head down and tally the prisoners. What are you waiting for? Come here, enjoy! Once the cleanup staff will assemble at the city gate, Marshal Coke Cop will want them branded without delay. You'll never take Calabella! We'll drive you back north all the way up Low East Kirk. And then... That old lout won't stop interrupting me! Clean up crew, you'll take care of him. Everyone else, move out. Are you the only one of the garrison left? Yeah, you're badly hurt. I... I thought I'd died. Listen, I've got to get to Calavalla and warn Lord Anthea. To Calavalla? The capital? Lowy is preparing an attack on the city of Calavalla itself. If they can take the city by surprise, then, then all hope is... I'm, I've got to get there. I... Oh, my family has a boat. Right. Can you navigate the bay? Uh, yes. Um, but... Good, good, because I'm rubbish. And somebody needs to get me to Calavella. So let's keep moving. Stay close. There's no other way to the pier. I'll try and block their attacks. All right. I'll stay out of their way. Yeah! <laughs> 
Can you sail it to Calavella? I've never sailed that far south, but I'll sail it away from here. Good, good start. Let's go. Maybe you should lie down for a second. I can handle the boat for a little while. Oh, I've never seen an injury like that before. How are you still alive? Uh, I shouldn't be. I should be dead, shouldn't I? Maybe I am. Oh, no, 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 no. Of course not. Just, just take a breather. You'll be fine. You, you'll... I... I won't. I'm getting weaker all the time. The river will always flow down to the sea. That's something my mother said. Things will always go the way they're meant to go. But they won't. She didn't know. My rivers run upwards, away from the sea. I'm not meant to be alive. Look, I know you're a... But we can't give up. We have to get to Calavella. I won't last that long. It's already getting dark. And besides, everyone I know is dead. What difference does it make if I die as well? Now, listen. By Tawani, maybe you are too hurt to make it. I'll have to get you to a healer. <laughs> What healer? Um, the healer of Broomhead. It's right across the strait. I can sail us that far. The healer of Broomhead? That's just an old story. So old. My grandparents heard it from their grandparents. No, she's real. Trust me. Just try to rest. Have you seen her? Well, um... No, 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 don't worry about that. You're only trying to make me feel better. You know I won't last long. No, you'll see. It's all right. You're just being kind. I'll... I'll rest. Damn this boat, this lake, everything. And damn me, the stupid ox I am. The healer of Broomhead, the red witch of Broomhead. She's likely to eat the girl as to heal her, if she exists at all. Well, she better exist. I can't pilot this boat all the way to Calavella, but Broomhead's only just across on. Now, I can do that much. This is it, Kipuna. The healer's house is somewhere nearby. I can hardly walk. It may be too late for me. Just a little while longer. Once we get you patched up, we can get to Calavalla and warn Entheor. Look, 
There's a door up there. There must have been a whole fortress. My friend is hurt. Where can we find the healer? You won't need a healer. I'm a surgeon. In fact, I'll cut both of you open right here. Don't you start. And I'll take that shiny thing you've got in your chest, too. Come here, girl. No! Some deserters, I'll bet. Bandits. But why would bandits set up an ambush so far from roads and towns? Oh, cowards and outlaws naturally scurry to remote places like this. Something. If we run into any more trouble, you just stay back, you hear? And let me handle it. Look, there are some of those tall weeds growing over there. That's a, that's a good hiding place for you. Don't get yourself killed, all right? Ah, these are just bandits. They'll fall quickly. Cutthroats, these, with their sorry camp. But I think I know why they were here. Really? Same reason as we are. Looking for the healer. <sighs> Too late for them. But not for you. Let's keep going. You all right? This is a good secluded spot. Maybe I can rest here a little. I'm sorry, Kippener. We can't stop. We need to find the healer. Don't fool yourself. I only came here to die. It's over. That's enough. Enough rest and defeatist nonsense. March! My breath. Yeah, all right, but not for long. <sighs> so much fog. That must be why they named it Broomhead. Yeah, 
And the sun's going down. Don't go near those lights. No, I don't think they're dangerous. What are they? Let's find out. Look! The stairs rose part way. Oh, with more of them, we could get to the door. Yeah, but why? Um, there's something about that door. Let's be ready when the light hits. Good. Let's continue. There. The path to the doorway is complete. Uh, that's where we should go, right? Yes. Let's go. I'm sorry. I thought I could, but I... I can't go on anymore. Everything's going dark. Uh, I don't... Uh, something is really happening, though. Help! She needs help. Did the gateway toy with you on the way? What? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, we got through the gate. Look, she's badly hurt. We need your help. You did before and got it. You'll have it again. Uh, uh, I don't understand any of this. But she's dying. Please, help. She's being born. A painful thing. Come in. We'll help deliver her. What's happening? Where am I? In the right place. Finally. It was a near thing. But you're here now. Am I... Am I dead? No, little human. No, indeed. Though you are hurt, it's true. She will guide you to help. See? I understand. I'm dreaming. Yes. None of this is real. No, little spark. All of it is. Come, wait deeper now. To heal you, we must struggle. Northlanders! They followed me here. In a way, they are shadows of your fear and hurt. To heal yourself, you must overcome them. They're too strong. Too horrible. Look at their weapons. Try to taste the power pulsing in you. That strange force that vibrates and itches and claws to get out. Open up to it. How does it feel? It feels... hot. 
Yes, let it out. Let the flame out. I've never seen a door like that before. Neither have I, but it is no figment, that is certain. The force of the shard wishes to show this to you. Yes, yes, you're right. Blossoming spark, my kippana. That's all it took. Come, let us wade yet further. The door won't open yet. I need to find the power conduits and light them up first. Behold that pillar. Inside it lies a bud of searing light waiting to bloom if you but call it forth. Call it forth? How? Like calls to like. Use the flame, of course. Now I understand. I need to open the gate, and to do that, I must draw out the power of the light pillar. Yes, child, good. You're finding your way, catching the scent of your soul's true quarry. not enough yet. This is only one pillar of two, and both must be lit. Lead the way, my golden bird. Hmm. That rock didn't rise up before. It opens another path. You must now be ready for it, as before you were not. more danger this way. I know it. Do we have to go? This way, my ember, is one winding loop on your path out of here. Out of the hurt and blood and fear. The Northlanders have brought their filth here. It's an oil barrel, and spilled oil all around. Verily. It would take little enough for all this to go up in flames. And there, in the center, what you seek. Another light pillar. And this too is surrounded by Northlanders.
I got it. The door's opening. You've done well, my brave little fox. Do you feel hurt? Not much. Your spirit is healed, and your body will follow soon. You're ready for the waking world again. But what about the shard? It's still there, in my chest. Yes. We'll talk more in my hut. Shush, little one. Nothing to be done about it now. Get up. I can't. I'm too badly hurt. What are you afraid of? What? <sighs> are you the healer of Broomhead? Go on and stand up. I've closed your wound with my needle and thread, and if the stitches should tear and your blood come gushing out again, what danger there? Just take a step backward. You know you always can. Wait. You were in my dream. That is so. Now stand up. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. I have nothing to repay you with. My orchid bud. You know well my gifts are mine to give. I, healer, I'm forever grateful. I'll remember this always. Those are words to speak under waning moons. Words for a swallow in autumn. But here we can have summer always. A full moon every night. Well, it's daytime now. I think I'm ready to step outside. How are you feeling? Not normal, but... I'm all right. She managed to patch you up, despite that, that thing still in your chest. So, you good to sail? Yeah, we, we can leave for Calabella? I... I don't know if we can even leave this place without her help. But we've got to warn them that the Northlanders are on the march. Uh, warn the Calavallans, I mean. It's only us. Nobody else survived to alert them. Oh, yes. You're right. I'll talk to her. Kipuna, join me at my fire. I think we should go. I'm too grateful for words. But my protector's growing restless because we're in a hurry. And... and I don't really know how long we've been here. Here, on the hidden side, my blossom, time cannot grasp and strangle us as it will in the world outside, though it may pinch, and what grows here is concealed well. So, this place is, um, safe? From cruel and stumbling men, yes. But my little home, too, is beset with trouble. What kind of trouble? Come, my spark. You'll get a chance to shine. Look at these little pieces of wood. Can you hear it? The flame. Hear a flame? Yes. The wood is dry as a bone. Inside all things there waits a little dark ember, the sweet marrow. If you let your own fire speak to it, it will come to life in glory. I don't know if I... Kippana, my blossom, don't dissemble. The Shard has given the secret flame to you, and you have learned in dreaming how to call it forth. It will be no strain to let it roar. Yes! You gave her a magic instrument that blasts fire? That's irresponsible. 
quiet man when you see sorcery afoot. The fire just came out of me. Oh, wait, um, are we still in the dream world? No, Blossom, though we are far from the real world as well. The power is in you. The gift of the shard that I helped to bring to light in the dream. But uh, she's just a girl. She hasn't been trained in magic. Right, Kippener? She needs no training. Her power is the fruit of her fusion with the shard. Now, quiet! But how did I do that? I've hung these wards on the trees to keep my little house unsullied by Razix. By what? What did she say? Razix. Spirits of despair and shadow from the Northland Myers. As their witch queen has extended her reach, they too have slunk abroad, along the cracks in the world shell, to places like my hideout here. Evil spirits? They can't be harmed by steel alone, but fire will burn them. You want me to go out there and burn these... Razix? Yes. Their darkness and terror will help you open up and let your fire out. Look at that! What a scarecrow! That's one of them! A Razik! I'm afraid I almost started a forest fire. You did well. The shrubs and meadows here will grow back. They have all the time outside the world. Oh, I've never seen monsters like that before. I'm afraid there are a few more down the path that leads to my sauna. Well, I'll try not to burn that down. Don't hold back. If you make a mistake, just go back, as you now know how.
hideout is free again of the Razik stain. I'm happy I could help. To begin, at least a little, to pay you back. That it was. You're ready now, Robin Redbreast, to fly. What do you mean? Can I fly too? I, I think she means that you know, we can go now, right? That is so. The kindly wind has blown your fireweed to my pier, and I've asked her to carry you away. Oh, well, that's, uh... Yeah, uh, let's go. Uh, thank you, Mom. to leave so soon. I mean, I have to, but it's sooner than I thought. You're mostly of the mortal world, and that's the way of it. You're ready when the time comes, and not when you thought you would be. But don't fret, my Blossom. Take my candle, and remember me by it. Thank you. Yes, I'm ready. Hey, what's going on, Kipuna? We ran into something. I know. That's what I came down to tell you. The boat's stuck. I don't like this. You didn't see anything out there. No. Just an abandoned log driving site. Whoever's inside that tub, leave all your valuables inside and we'll let you go unharmed. We're relieving you of the boat. Oh no. More bandits. We need to bar the hatch. We can't hold up like a pair of badgers. Don't you fret, just stay here, out of sight, and I'll go teach those curs a lesson. You just told me we can't hide in the boat. Don't leave me here alone. What if we just ran away? We've got you surrounded. With plenty of crossbow bolts to go around if you try anything. We're not giving up this boat. If you won't hide in here, then, uh, you know, just stay close. Try to use that fire magic. Maybe it'll scare them. But run if they get near you, and dodge if you see them pointing their crossbows your way. Right. All right. They won't be expecting an attack like that. How you come now? I'm giving you to the count of five, and then we shoot. That's it? One fat geezer? All right, take your daughter and walk, and drop the hammer while you're at it. I'll drop it right on your head. You want it spiked first, or the old-fashioned way? The old man's gone mad. Get him. Aha! Yeah. Aha. <laughs>
Did you see that? Wow. Yeah. It would have gone a fair bit worse without you, I can tell you that much. The magic. Looks like it works just as well here as it did at the healer's cabin. I'm sure Anthew and the law keeps of Calavalla can explain it when we get there. Now, we need to see about getting the boat moving again. See those three logs sticking up on the other side? Knocking those down might release the rest of the log jam. We need to get over there first. Yeah, I can't reach them from here. Yeah. 